Good day, everybody. This is Chris, and I'm going to be uh, going over the answers for Lab Exam 1, Biology 225 D08. This lab exam was divided into 10 sections. Section 1 was the integumentary system model. Okay, and the correct answers were uh, number 5 labeled here was the uh, stratum corneum, the epidermis. Okay, moving on down to 9 was the hair follicle. Okay. 10 was the erector pili muscle, 11 was the sebaceous gland, 12 was the sweat gland. Okay, uh, station two or section two consisted of histology slides and I will do those in a separate add-on video. So moving on to uh, section three, this is the animal cell model. Okay, A is the nucleus or nuclear envelope. Okay, um, let's see here and then B was rough endoplasmic reticulum. C was a mitochondrion, or mitochondria was okay as well. D was the Golgi apparatus, and then E was the cell for the plasma membrane. All right, moving on to uh, section uh, three. This is, or section four rather, this is the components of the um, microscope. So A was the stage, B was the objective lens, C, was the ocular lens, D was the rough um, or coarse adjustment, and then E was the fine adjustment. All right, so uh, moving right along to uh, see here, this is going to be uh, section five, um, osseous tissue model labeling. Um, A is gonna be the central canal, okay, um, B, uh, could be a couple of things. I was looking for lacunae, but if you if you um, answered um, the Kenya lick eye, um, I'd let you get that answer correct as well. Let's see here. Uh, C is going to be the concentric lamellae. If you answered the lamellae, you got the you got the points as well. And then D is the periostom. Okay, so uh, moving right along to section. Six. This will be identifying the types of bones. Okay, so A is, let's see here. So A is an irregular bone. Okay. B is a long bone. Okay. C is a flat bone. Okay. D are short bones. And then E, tell is the sesamoid bone. All right. So moving on to section seven, identifying specific disarticulated bones, okay? Um, so let's start at um, A, where do we have A here? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There we go, A, of course, is uh, the humerus, okay? And then moving on to B, B is of course the femur, Right. Uh, let's see here. A, B, um, C. Back here is the occipital bone. Okay. Okay. C, uh, D is right here. Um, D is the radius. D. And then E is right here. This is the tibia. Um, F is here, right here. This is F. This is the clavicle. All right. G is here. This is the scapula. All right. um, H is right here, and this is the fibula to complement the tibia. Okay. Um, let's see. I here is the ulna, and you can see that nice groove there, okay, all right, and then finally J right here is the temporal bone, okay, um, moving right along to structures of the knee, um, so A right here, oops. so A is the medial right along the tibia, medial, MCL, the medial collateral ligament, B here is a lateral collateral ligament. Let's see here. C. 
see is the anterior cruciate ligament, D is the posterior cruciate ligament, and then E could be a couple things if you called it uh, the condyles or the hyaline cartilage or the articulating surface or cartilage, then you got the point. Okay, moving on to, um, let's see here, section, uh, let's see here, this is going to be section 9, the fetal pig. Okay, so A right here is um, the liver, um, B right here is the heart, let me zoom in here and you can see C right here is a lung, and then D right here are the intestines, alright. And then moving on to um, the skull and vertebral bones, okay. So A right here, let me get focus. A is the zygomatic bone, okay. B right back here is the occipital bone, all right. Uh, C happens to be a cervical vertebrae, and you can see the forama here which is uh, specific to the cervical vertebrae. Um, D right here is a lumbar vertebrae. It looks like a moose. It's a very large, thick cell body. And then E is going to be a thoracic vertebrae. It looks kind of like an, an anteater or a giraffe. It doesn't have quite as thick of a body. Okay, so that concludes um, the major section of uh, this lab review and then we'll move on to histology in the next video.